Hi, I'm Basil Assaf and welcome to Pathology Dynamics. Today we will talk about copper hepatic toxicity in Bidlington Terrier. This breed of dog gets a specific mutation in a gene called COMMD1, which used to be called MURR1, that leads to copper accumulation in hepatocytes in the liver. Dogs show general clinical signs related to liver dysfunction, such as central nervous system signs, depression, weight loss, and sometimes jaundice. To understand how copper can result in liver toxicity, Let's review how our bodies normally handle copper homeostasis. After dietary intake of copper, copper is absorbed from the small intestine and transferred to the liver via portal vein. And in the liver, copper is shuttled into hepatocytes via protein CTR1. Inside hepatocytes, copper binds ATOX1 protein that carries copper to the trans-Golgi network where copper binds ATB7B. If the amount of copper is normal, ATB7B incorporate copper into ceroloplasmin, which is then released into the plasma. If, however, there is excess copper, ATB7B goes to the lysosome where it binds the MURR1 protein, then releases the excess copper in bile, which eventually releases copper in urine and feces. In the event there is mutation in MURR1 protein, this results in copper accumulation inside hepatocytes, which results in generation of free radicals and lipid peroxidation of cell membranes which eventually results in cell death. Normal liver looks like this with smooth and shiny surface. But in case of copper toxicity, affected liver is pale and have rough nodular appearance. And as disease progresses to hepatic cirrhosis, these nodules become more frequent. And as we always do, let's look at a normal liver under the microscope before looking at the abnormal liver with copper toxicity. Liver is composed of lobules. And each lobule is composed of cores of hepatocytes separated by channels called sinusoids and at the center of each lobule is central vein and at the periphery there is portal triad that contains portal vein hepatic artery and bile ductule this is a higher magnification of normal liver where we can see the portal triad hepatocyte cords sinusoids and central vein and blood usually passes from the portal triad through sinusoids between hepatic cords into the central vein where it then releases the blood out of the liver into the systemic blood circulation however in in copper toxic liver injury, we can see that at low magnification, about 30% of the liver looks abnormal. At higher magnification, hepatocyte cords around central veins are dissociated and hepatocytes are disintegrated, swollen, and degenerate, and sometimes they are necrotic. Admixed with this necrotic and degenerate change is a mix of inflammation composed of lymphocytes, macrophages, and few non-degenerate neutrophils, as well as edema, as indicated by the increased layer space fibrin deposit, and scattered reactive fibroblasts with fibrous connective tissue indicative of fibrosis. Fibrosis extends to portal region and bridges to other portal regions. Within degenerate hepatocytes and macrophages, there is coarsely granular brown to gray intracytoplasmic substance consistent with copper deposits. And these copper deposits will stain red using the special rhodonine histochemical stain. And with electron microscopy, there are a set of well-characterized intracellular changes that correlate with the amount of copper accumulation. And if you are interested in details about these changes, please leave a comment and I will explain these changes in details. Copper liver toxicity has been reported in other species. For example, human and lab retrievers, they get a mutation in ATB7B, which results in copper accumulation and a similar finding. Long Evans, cinnamon rats, and toxic milk mice, they get the same condition as well. It's also very important to note that this liver appearance can happen with other toxins as well. And for more details on the differential diagnosis and comparative pathology, I highly encourage you to visit the Joint Pathology website using the link provided in the description box. As usual, if you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure you view the other previous videos. Also, don't forget to spread the knowledge by sharing this video with friends and colleagues, and please subscribe to the channel so you can receive all the new videos. Thank you.